Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a real-time game called Rush MD. This one's published by Artipia Games and it's designed by three different designers, David Turksey, Anthony Haugego, and Kothatinos Kokinis. And it is a real-time medical drama. <laughs> drama? <laughs> yes, we're going to have patients that we have to deal with and we're going to struggle. Yeah, so if you're familiar with a game called Kitchen Rush, this is kind of like the medical take on it. Yes. We're going to be treating patients, and we're really, really going to try to do our best to make sure everybody survives. That's right. And so, you know, we haven't put out a playthrough in quite some time, and so we kind of just wanted to ease our way back into it by putting out a stressful game, I guess. What were we thinking? <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's going to be hard. And as per usual, we are going to start with the teacher of the game, then go into our full two-player playthrough and end with a review. So if you're interested in jumping around, we will include timestamps down below. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, I think we're ready to begin. Mm -hmm. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we are all set up here for our two-player game of Rush MD. Welcome <sighs> to our hospital. Yes. We have several different uh, units here, several different floors. Lots of things to keep track of. Yes, first of all, we have two different wards. We have Ward A and Ward B for yep. our uh, inpatient uh, patients. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have our two operating rooms, diagnostic area, our uh, blood bank, the pharmacy, as well as our triage area, where we are going to be taking in both outpatient patients as well as inpatient mm -hmm. patients, right? That's right. And so the basic concept of the game is the game is played over four rounds. And each time you play, you have a different objective. Sometimes you'll have an objective that requires you as a group to score a certain amount of points mm -hmm. or treat a certain number of patients. But you also have two different types of points. You have reputation points mm -hmm. as well as medical points. Right. You start the game with a certain number of medical points, which is this green tracker that is off screen. You can't really see it over here. And so for our game, we're going to start at nine. Mm -hmm. And over the course of the game, if you fail to treat your patients that are on the board, then you're going to lose medical points. And if you ever get down to zero, then you lose immediately. That's right. So you're trying to win the game, but you're also trying not to lose in the process. And so each round is played over the course of four minutes. The way that a round works is each of these different areas, these different boards have these worker placement spots, and they're either going to be for doctors or nurses. Nurses are these like teal sand timers, mm -hmm. and the nurses can be controlled by all players. That's right. And those are these blue spots right here. The orange circles are for your doctors. And so everybody has one player color sand timer that is their doctor. So I'm playing as the black sand timer. I'll be red. And so only the player who owns the doctor sand timer can move it. That's right. So I would never be able to move Naveen's sand timer onto a spot or off of it. That's completely controlled by Naveen. And if ever he moves his own doctor sand timer onto a spot, he must be the one performing the action as well. Yep. At the start of the game, we are most likely going to be going to this area over here. This is triage. This is where we actually receive our patients and treat our patients as well as move the inpatient uh, patients into the hospital beds. Mm -hmm. Taking in patients requires a nurse. So I would put this nurse sand timer on one of these two spots and then I can pull anywhere from one to three patients of any combination. Mm -hmm. So if I were to go here and say, okay, well, let's do one outpatient and there's space for six of them total in a round and maybe two inpatients, right? So we flip over these cards, and this is what a patient card looks like. Typically, the outpatient um, cards are going to just have treatment protocol because they don't need to run diagnostic tests on them. You just need to treat them with medication. Mm -hmm. The hospitalized patients need to be admitted into a bed. That's why they are in a bed That's in right. their photo. Yes. And so uh, usually the cards will have any combination of medication that they would need, as well as if you see any of these body colored body symbols, those are diagnostic tests that you have to run in order to discover what additional treatments they need. Before we move on to the, uh, the hospitalized patients, because the outpatient ones are so much more simple, we'll just talk about those really quickly. Um, these are gonna have a certain combination of medication and all medication is taken from this board over here. This board is split up into three different areas. We have the blood bank that's only for blood, mm -hmm. and blood is these, these red cylinders. We have the, uh, the pharmacy that houses both uh, prescription medications as well as organs. All the medical supplies. Were all the medical, ways. yeah, medical supplies, exactly. And so at the start of the game, we seeded this board with a specific number of each of these resources, depending on player count. Mm -hmm. And so in this example, this patient needs one IV bag, which is these tokens, one orange pill and a white pill. And so we have all of those supplies already in the pharmacy. If I wanted to treat this patient, all I would need to do is either put a nurse or my doctor onto one of these two worker placement spots. And as soon as you place it, you can take the action. 
uh, and then take all those um, medications from the pharmacy and put it on her card. That's right. And then at the end of the round, as long as this patient is completely satisfied, then we're going to get that number of points at the top left-hand corner, which is one point. And so some objectives require you to hit a certain point threshold. Some objectives just require you to, to, you to treat a certain number of patients. It really just depends on the objective you're playing for the game. Um, and we'll get into that before we actually start the playthrough. Now, if you need to treat a patient and those medications are not in the pharmacy, you need to restock. And so that is what these worker placement spots are for. Uh, in order to restock blood, you need either a nurse or a medical doctor can do it. Mm -hmm. And the numbers below tell you how many of that type of medication you're allowed to fill when going there. So if I were to place a nurse here, I can take three, uh, three units of blood from the supply and fill it there so that now when we need more blood, we have it. We have access. We have access, exactly. Yeah. The, the pharmacy area over here for medications requires only a nurse. Medical mm -hmm. doctors cannot go here. And these are the different denominations of things that you can get, including syringes, which uh, we'll show you in a second how those work. It's important to note though, one worker placement spot for one type of medication or supply. Yes, yes, exactly. So if uh, if this nurse were to go here, I could not take one syringe and one blue pill. It's it's all of one type. Yep. And lastly, the organ uh, section of the pharmacy, only medical doctors <laughs> can handle organs. All of our organs are off screen. There are hearts, bones, um, Livers, kidneys. kidneys no, yeah. There's no liver. <laughs> Sorry, kidneys, lungs. <laughs> Naveen thinks the lung, the lung look like a it's liver. It's because so. of that pink. It's in anatomy class, it's always yeah. pink. No, but these are the four different organs. We have bones, lungs, hearts, and kidneys. And so these are gonna be off screen. Um, like, I was, like I said, only medical doctors can go to these spots, so it's just one spot really. And uh, going here allows you to, to fill two of one type of organ, mm -hmm. but all organs must be handled with tweezers. So unfortunately, we can't get everything on screen, so we're going to be handling this, primarily me I guess, since I'm yeah. close to the organs, I'm going to be handling them with my tweezers. Kind of doing this <laughs> awful job. She's doing a terrible at job. Picking it. There you go. Showing you the stress of the time. Yeah, there you go. Well, you're not allowed to mix. That was a bad example. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that you'll, is how you'll see them. that is how this board works. It's all just for restocking supplies so that we can treat our patients. And so that is essentially how treating outpatient uh, cards work. For the hospitalized patients over here. Like I was mentioning, we need to get them into one of these two wards because we need to run diagnostic imaging and all that stuff on them. So in order to admit a patient, only a medical doctor can do that. So Naveen exactly could put his uh, sand timer there. And then you would just he would just room, he would choose either one of these patients and put them into any of the hospital beds here. And the reason why there are two different wards is because over the course of the game, you'll see they they can uh, we can have an epidemic and uh, then all of the Patients in one ward can become infected with that. That's right. Which we'll talk about in a second. And so now that we have a patient in the hospital, we have this particular one in a bed. You'll see one of four different types of diagnostics sometimes on these patients. And in order to run diagnostics, you must take your doctor, who is over here, and place it on the appropriate lab spot. So in this particular case, we have the red uh, human symbol. You would put it here and you would move the bed here and then run the different types of diagnostics accordingly. In this particular case right here, you have a deck of cards that correspond to these eight different face down tokens. And essentially what you're gonna be doing is trying to find this particular symbol amongst these. So you'll flip over tokens one at a time until you actually find it. And let's, in the interest of time, there you go, I found it. So now I can actually flip over this card and this tells me exactly what the treatment protocol is yes. for this individual. Wait, let's talk about the thematic integration of these sure. diagnostics. So this this red one that Naveen is doing is a culturing in a lab. So you know, you're, you're trying to figure out what kind of microbe that is inhabiting this person's body. Yes. And so these images underneath the tokens <laughs> are different types of micro That's microbes. Right. That's right. So you have to match it with the card. And it's important to note though, that you have to flip one over, look at it and flip it back, back down, down before you move on to the next one. That's right. So uh, it reveals the treatment plan. You will then put that treatment plan in the appropriate bed, uh, docking bay of the patient. And then now you can go ahead and treat that patient once they go back here into this location with a nurse in the ward treating that patient. So we would need two blue pills and two orange pills to satisfy this patient here. Yes, yeah, so putting the nurse here allows you to just take them from the pharmacy and all medication for the inpatient uh, patients go inside the hospital bed. That's so right. you would put the two blue pills inside the bed and at the end of the round, we would check to make sure everybody was completely satisfied. That's exactly right. So that is the first type of diagnostics. This next one here, this is the uh, blood lab and this is where <laughs> your tweezers are gonna come into play. You essentially have to mimic what you see right here by 
by moving these different things around <laughs> into the appropriate configuration. Uh, you're going to see this happen probably during the game, so I will not be boring you with me trying to do this right now. <laughs> uh, the next type of diagnostics we have here are x-rays, so that's the blue one here. Essentially what you're going to be doing is wherever your patient is, so let's say this is A1, because uh, uh -huh. this is A1, 2, 3, you can't really see that in B1, 2, 3. There are these little tiny ghost figure images of the different beds that are on here. You're looking for the one that is absent, so you're going to be thumbing through this until you find the card that corresponds with the bed that your patient is involved right. in. Right. You're looking for a card that does not have A1 exactly. written on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to use your eyes to look there. And so you'll flip it over. And again, the treatment protocol will be exactly there. Yep. All right. The last one that we have here, this is a tough one. This is the MRI. And essentially what you're going to see is if you see a green uh, human body, you're going to have your patient at the location. You're going to place this token right here, and <laughs> that is a doctor symbol, and you must have a doctor running this long, drawn-out test, because most yes. MRIs take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. If you're not and familiar with an MRI, that is a that is a form of... Advanced imaging. Advanced imaging yeah. using magnetic technology. <laughs> That's right. That's right. No radiation. No radiation. Yes. And so essentially what you're going to do is you're just going to make sure that you do not knock this over while you're trying to perform other tasks while this is passively taking its MRI. Once that sand timer does in fact run out and you have not knocked it over, oh. you will then be able to see what exactly the patient needs. Yes. And so this would be a uh, IV bag and an injection of orange, or sorry, yellow uh, medication. Yes. Speaking of yellow medication, we did not uh, discuss how that works. Mm -hmm. Anytime you see a syringe with like sometimes, usually they'll have like a number and a color. That is for these um, IV medications. Yep. It's supposed to resemble IV. Sure. And uh, the number next to it tells you how many of these cylinders you have to put in there. So you literally uncap the plunger and you put these cylinders in there. Illegally. It, huh? That is illegal, Moni. It's not illegal. Oh, yeah, you're not in surgery. No, I'm not in surgery. Okay. <laughs> so you use your started. hands. That's right. Um, oh, and then, then I've, that's been, I've been making my life harder. Yes, you have. Okay, it then. sounds like it. <laughs> okay. I have definitely been making my life harder. <laughs> and then I would just fill it and put it on there, and at the end of the round, that patient is ready to go. Gotcha. Uh, what Naveen was referring to yes. is sometimes a hospitalized patient will require surgery. And so they look like this. Anytime you see this scalpel. kind of like a scalpel with a like a folder, a hospital folder, that patient needs surgery. And surgery is performed in the operation ward, a surgical ward. Mm -hmm. And so you would um, bring the patient into one of these two ORs. Maybe I'll go into operation room B, and it really doesn't matter which one you go to. Sure. Uh, usually it'll require a certain combination of um, organs and medication. And so in order for me to treat this patient, if I needed to supply the patient with organs, I would need to put my medical doctor there mm -hmm. in that spot. And then anything done for the OR has, right. to be used, has to be done using tweezers. I so, have been making my life harder. I think so. And that's shown here. This yeah. is a reminder. You have a caution symbol, tweezers. Right. So, okay. So organs at all times must be handled with tweezers anyway. And organs have to be taken from the pharmacy. So that had to have been restocked. Stop. Yep. Uh, medications, this is the difference. Medications have to be supplied by a nurse, and the nurses go there, and uh, you can only handle the medications with tweezers if you're uh, treating at the OR. Ah, so we've heard this is... several times, and I've been doing it where I always handle medication with tweezers. Yeah, so syringes, you uh -huh. can use your hands, obviously, but okay. when you put the blood in there, like, say, for that patient, I'm going to need to use <laughs> my tweezers. And mind you, this entire round is timed. Four minutes. So you have four minutes to try to treat as many patients as possible. Right. If you do not uh, successfully treat patients with exactly the medications required, then you're going to lose points in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. That includes if you over-treat, if you That's put right. too many medications in the, in the bed. The last thing that we didn't discuss, the last two things, I guess, is sometimes a patient will require more than one type of diagnostic. And so in this example, this patient needs two different types of diagnostic um, testing. Yeah, blood testing and x-rays. Which would give us two different treatment cards. You do not need to treat for both. You just need to treat the the card that has the higher um, I effectiveness. Yeah. The, this one has a three versus a one. You have to have both cards off to the side to show that you've done both tests, mm -hmm. but you only have to treat for the higher um, one. Just a heads up, this is an easy rule to make mistakes on. Yeah. So you have to be very, very cautious. Very about. cautious. And... Uh, this this treatment protocol on the card is in addition to what's already on their card. That's right. So that's another easy one to miss. Sometimes we'll be like doing the the uh, accounting at the end of the round, and we'll we'll realize, oh, <laughs> nobody put that medication in the bed. I'm guilty. Yeah. Yes. Um, the last thing 
is sometimes you'll draw a treatment card that has this symbol and that means that whatever disease the patient has is contagious and so you have to draw an epidemic card which is the cards that are off to the side and it gets placed in whatever ward that patient belongs to so if it were that this patient oh well, okay sure. that was Let's this, this patient then it would be in ward b if we have any other patients in this entire ward then every patient gets affected and basically what it means is you have to supply that treatment to all of the patients that are there in addition to what they already need. If there's a little outbreak in the ward. A little bit of an outbreak. And in order to treat with, with that one medication, you just put a nurse there mm -hmm. and they can mass treat everybody, assuming that you have it in stock, in, stock, <laughs> in the pharmacy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Um, like I was saying, it is four rounds, four rounds of uh, four minutes long each time we play. And at the end of the round or at the end of the game, we're going to look at our objective and see if it's been met. So it's not easy. Tough, yeah. But we're just going to go ahead and get cleaned up, and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, so the board is reset. We have shuffled all the cards. We have everything stocked. And now let's talk about our objectives in this game. All right. So today we are going to be playing the this objective, which is just to score a certain amount of points. And so mm. there are three levels of difficulty. I think we're going to go with hard. We we're, played the yeah. game a few times. <laughs> um, we're not necessarily good at it, so I don't know, I don't know that we're going to uh, succeed. We might fail. <laughs> But uh, for this objective, we have to score at least 65 reputation points by the end of the game. Wow. And again, it's four rounds. And we start the game with nine medical points. Yes, so, so it's kind of cut off, but uh, we will kind of go over the score as the rounds end. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of wiggle room. Uh, if we fail to treat you know, some patients, and we could possibly lose yes. early. Yeah, so. <laughs> I think it might happen. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, before we actually start, if you haven't caught the teach, we have included timestamps down below because once the timer starts, it's gonna be very difficult for us to truly walk through everything. We're yes. gonna do our best to verbally go through what we're doing, but it's it's a timer, yeah. uh, real time. And uh, we are definitely going to make mistakes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Um, it happens. It happens. Please feel free to let us know what we made mistakes on because, <laughs> you know, you, you have the rules in your head and then once the timer starts, everything goes out the window. It's chaos. You just go for it. Uh, as a so. viewing uh, recommendation, though, I would recommend probably per round watching only one of us, if possible, just so you can kind of see the flow. You can watch both of us, but sometimes going back and forth, it might get a little bit kind of messy. That's all, that's all up to you. You can do whatever <laughs> you want to do, but that's just something that I would recommend. Okay, so round one. What are we doing, Naveen? So the way that we typically would start is we'd get one outpatient out and then two, two inpatient, inpatient yeah. so that we can start working on one hospitalized patient each. Yes. And then uh, before the end of the round, try to get more of these outpatient uh, people going because they are uh, easy points as long as we can restock the That's pharmacy. That's right. Uh, I think 65 total points. That means we should be aiming for at least 16 points per round, and one round has to be at least 17 points. Woo! Yeah, that's that's quite a bit. Um, that's a lot. It's a lot. All right. So I think also we should probably try as as best as possible to separate our patients into their respective wards at yes. first. Yes, I will take the B. I'll take the A. Okay. Uh, we have the diagnosis uh, stuff all here, so uh, good luck to us. <laughs> okay, so what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take one of the nurses and bring in one outpatient and two and inpatient. Two. Okay. If you want to start with your doctor and, and room yours room. immediately, yep. and then um, I'll also room mine, okay. and then we can focus on the pharmacy pharmaceutical things that they need, Yes. because you're not going to be able to move your doctor again until the sign timer to, to out, run the diagnosis. To, to run the diagnosis, the, the diagnostic. Yes. So just make sure that there's enough medication in the pharmacy. So we'll look at what all the patient's needs are based off those three cards. Yes and then look at where we're deficient or where we're going to be deficient, knowing that, hey, we have and some gaps. fill them with the nurses. Okay, sounds good. Cool? All right. Yes. All right. We say that now, but uh, <laughs> it'll be like, nurse, send the nurse. Uh, all right, four minutes four on minutes. the timer. Okay. Ready, uh -huh. set, go. All right, so here's the first nurse. Go, go, and go. I have one outpatient, <laughs> sorry, two inpatients. Okay, now I can do, oh, they both require surgery. Okay, I'll take the lady. Oh, fine, all right, so I'm admitting and... mine as well. Okay, so and, we need to uh, restock uh, some, I'll do the blue pills. Okay, I'm gonna treat this patient now. So putting the nurse there, they need one orange and one white. So they are now okay. done. Do we have another nurse? I'm, yeah, blood. go ahead. We need blood, yeah. We need blood, okay. So okay, all set so... timers are going. The next time, once this empties, I'm gonna admit um, a couple more outpatient okay. patients. I trust you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Here. So let's just go here. I, I'm putting okay. out three My of doctor. them. My doctor's so gonna go to the So when you have a chance, just look at the outpatient ones uh, to see what they need. My doctor's gonna go to the organ pharmacy. Oh, I'm gonna get blood going. What do you need? This one needs heart heart and kidneys. Uh, or not kidneys, <laughs> I said kidneys. Oh yeah, it is kidneys. Yeah. Okay, that was right. 
So here, let's let's put the kidneys in because I see your patient needs them also. That's right. Um, yes, kidneys, please. Yeah. Yeah. So I have the kidneys in. I do need a heart. So oh. once that runs out, I'm gonna this have to put more hearts is gonna in. Gonna give the medication. I'm gonna treat this patient. So this one. Slip that. So they need two blue pills and two. Oh, do you have that that three. kidney? IV drugs. Yep. Okay. It's in the. The oh, area over don't there. fail, Naveen. Okay, okay. Go. She is treated, I'm and now there. I can move her. Put two back. hearts. One kidney, oh gosh. two blood, and a blue. Okay, perfect. So she is secure. One heart. You want to bring my patient into surgery? Uh, where are they? They're in B1. Uh, okay. Can I do that? Uh, uh, if you, if you're, no, your your doctor. My doctor has to do it. Okay. Yeah. So my doctor's busy. Uh, well, you can do a nurse now, yep. so that they can put in the blood. Uh, oh, let's see what I need. These two. They. This person needs two pills. Okay, I'm gonna restock. Oh, we need. Blue pills. We need. Uh, okay, we need syringes. So here's two blue pills. You need syringes? I got them. Okay. Uh, we need so blood. She's okay. working. I'm going to. Oh, I don't have any nurses. Kidneys. Uh, can you get the kidney? I'm on gonna this grab one? this nurse. Can you get the kidney on this guy? Huh? I'll do it. You have to do I it. I got it. Okay. So, two. Your doctor's doing nothing. IV bags. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we need a heart also. Oh, needs... perfect. So. Yeah, I put the heart in there. Oh gosh, the hearts are the hardest. <laughs> Clear out. Wait, I need the the blood. Yeah, take it. You, okay. You just use one hand for the, for the. Uh, yeah. The the tweezers. <laughs> okay. Oh, did you take all the syringes again? Uh, no, there's one. There's one. Right okay. There. So, so the I nurse needs to do the blood. That one. Oh, there's no blood though. I'm gonna Monique. Refill. What? You took all the blood. I took okay. all the blood. Uh, can, you, can you restock the blood, please? Yes. I need Here. you to restock the blood. There. Okay, thank you. Um, one. Because if I if I restock, two. then this nurse is not doing. Well, I, I'm doing it. Go okay. for it. Go for it. I can't. I can't thing. yet. <laughs> oh, you're yes, in a holding I'm, pattern. Yes, I'm in a holding pattern because you need to restock the blood. Otherwise, right. I'm taking another action. New nurse. Two oh yeah. Blue pills. Just... All outpatients are done. Um, we have a minute left on the timer. And how are you doing on those yeah, patients? So good. Two, oh, I put too much blood in there. I, I still on my time. Still on my time. I can do it. You need more blood? No, no, we're good. Okay. Should I room? I'm going to room another patient. I'm going to do... Okay, cool. Because we can max out at six outpatients. So let's do so that. Blood is, I don't so, know how this works, but I'm pretty sure this blood extra that I took off the board stays. I need to fill... We need to fill the... What do you need? Green. Green IV. Green. Okay, I got you. And orange pills. Okay, so, I've, so I'm busy I'll, doing... I got orange one. pills. Okay. Uh, and we need some syringes, right? We, I'll do it. Yes, we need some syringes. Once these are... Here, I'm going to use my doctor. Okay, we have 36 seconds left. To so. treat these... Two orange. Uh, who else can uh, I treat? This this uh, this patient up here. Yep, okay. Two two yellow. So a bag and two greens. Uh huh. I think, I think that'll be this it. This might be it. Yeah. So we don't want anybody. Can you just look around the hospital and make sure everybody has all the treatment that they needed? Oh my gosh. Okay. So. So. What I'm just hoping it? those OR people because we have no time. Two blue. Two, two blue. Green. Two green. No, no, no. I'm doing these ones. If you want to do those ones. Oh yeah. This just yeah. One, I. Point. Two blue. Yes. <laughs> Are you just trusting it? <laughs> I'm trusting the process. Two blue. Yeah, I think everything's here. I but checked them at the time, so yeah. It's done. Okay. One more time. Cool. <laughs> now let's see what we've done. Well, <laughs> in the future, I think we should try to get a third inpatient, um, like hospital patient. Let's but... see how we scored, and then if we're shy of 16, then yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you want to start with the Let's uh, start with the outpatients. outpatients. Sure. So we have um, this kid who needs two. Two pills. Blue pills. So that was successful. I'm going to hand it to you. That's and one that point. scores one <laughs> point. Uh-oh. That's not enough. <laughs> this patient is not feeling too well. He needed two orange pills and two yellow IV okay. medication, which is what we have here. So that's two points. Okay. So we have I'm three total. Empty this. Let me know if you need any of these supplies. Uh, yeah, we can do that after the, all the points are scored. Okay. We've got four. Four red. Four uh, blood. Four units of blood. Three blue pills and, and two bags. IV bags. Okay, so that's good. good. It's gonna need it a lot. Okay, there yeah. you go. Nice. And this is three points. One, two, three. So we have six points after three people. Yeah. Uh oh. We have another three Doesn't up here. Sound like enough. This patient. Oh, I think is it the baby or is it the lady who's sick? But Let's they needed the one IV bag and two, two green, uh, pill, or whatever this is, IV drugs. Drugs. And so that was good. Sure. But that's only one point. That is only one point. That's not good. <laughs> oh boy. All right. We have this this uh, person over here who looks like they have a stomach ache. Two blue pills <laughs> okay. and two green IV medication, sure. which is good. Two points. One, two. I'm doing well so far. Yeah. We've got this <laughs> this guy who's got uh, a hurt neck. One orange and one white pill. It's so meds. those are not going to cure your neck issue. No. That's one point. One point. So we're at 10. 10. We're at 10 right now before these two. So let's do this one. Sure. 
Okay. So this patient needed surgery. So did you do everything with your tweezers? I hope so. Everything. You let us know let us if know. Naveen <laughs> did not use his tweezers. I didn't send any of these to people to surgery. I have no idea. So uh, he needed a new heart, <laughs> which he got, as well as a kidney and two units of blood, which he got right cool. there. Okay. So this is three points. Okay, so that's 13. One, two, three. And finally, our patient in A1, and she also needed surgery. It looks like she needed a new kidney, which she got, uh, a blue pill, and blue pill. two good. units of blood. So, so, so another three. One, two, three. 16 points at the end there. That's right. That's right. The margin that we need. We got the blue, blue uh, pill. Yeah. So we'll, we can reset some of our access. That's stuff. the end of round one. We're, we are at 16 uh, reputation and still at nine medical points. Okay. So at this point, if we did not treat any of our patients with the exact kind of medication that they needed, then we would lose um, medical points. But we were successful, so, so we don't so do good. anything. <laughs> so now we're moving into round two. And uh, let's see if we can actually get some diagnostics going. Uh, Those patients yeah. didn't need them. They didn't need them, which My is good. My goal is to try to get a third inpatient in there. I'm just going to sneak one in there. So that one Put it in your ward it. because I, I don't want to deal with it. All right, are you ready for round two? Round two, yes, let's do it. Four minutes on the clock. Okay, so you're gonna put the, the, the nurse in yes. the middle and then I'll, I'll room my first patient and then start stalking. Ready? Okay. Set, go. Oh. All right, there we go. Here's the inpatient. Oh, inpatient. okay, two, oh. double diagnostics. Okay, oh. so I'm gonna take the surgery person. I'm, okay, I'm okay. going to take uh, this person. This so is a double, double diagnostics. Okay, so we do they need, need organs? They do, they need uh, a lung, I think. A, okay. They need a lung? Yes. Okay, well I need my doctor so to do that. We need, uh, so yes, let's white use docs. Pills. White pills. You're doing white pills, I'm doing green. Green IV medication. Okay, we need blood also. Um. So I will get blood. Okay, once this timer runs out, I'm gonna refill blue pills. Okay. Are you gonna run the diagnostics on these people? Here we go, blue pills. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess so, but I need my doctor. So we're going to- Actually, I'm gonna, our... what kind of organ do you need? Uh, I need a lung. Lung, Thank okay. You. So oh, there's... perfect, you did that? Yeah, Great. Just get that out of the way. Set but now my doctor's lung. out of commission for a little bit. Okay, and so then the nurse is I gonna- So I need yellow, yellow IV drug medication. So I'm restocking. Okay, I'm treating this guy A lot of things. Blood. This nurse is gonna get some of, some, uh, these things, and syringes, a white pill. and then when this nurse is okay. done, he is, I'm he treating is treated. this patient. This man is treated. Two blue pills. Okay, what can I do with my doctor? Do you need anything? Uh, you can, the doctor you can specifically. Do, do these, this Diagnostics? One. Yeah, okay. diagnostics. Uh, uh, oh, so she needs to remember, go to she yellow. she needs two diagnostics. Yes, okay, yellow. So. Oh, okay, so now it's this. Okay, I have to do this. Red, red, <laughs> red. Okay, okay, this is just a one, a one, okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, bring in more patients. Oh, come on! Because there we go. Perfect. We've treated all three of okay, these. Okay, uh, do we have any bags? We have no bags. Okay, so let's go ahead One, and get some bags. Two going. and three. We so need syringes also. I'm so going to I'm admit syringe this patient into B1. This needs a double diagnostic oh, as well. Oh shoot! Okay. <laughs> uh, so um, we need blood. Where are the nurses? I'm gonna grab this nurse. Okay. Uh, green is the MRI, right? Okay. Blood. blood. So we're gonna go over here. <laughs> We are, we are, we're doing it. So orange, white, okay, so if I can grab a nurse, oh, I could treat, shoot. oh, you knocked okay, over so here. I gotta do it again, right? Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So this is gonna treat this patient, so we need one. Oh, right gosh, right. okay, so we white. need a lot of medication. White. I need orange, what do we need? orange over here. Okay, so you, okay. This, you you can't uh, do anything, I think, when, oh, okay. when that's running. Then, uh, so I'm, really? Okay. I'm gonna, I don't know, actually. I think I can. Okay, yeah. go for it. So okay. three, Two orange. blood. Uh, we need white. So three units of blood. Sorry, one, two, three. All right, we have a minute and a half. Okay, the green—it's the green diagnosis that's that's important for this lady. Oh my by gosh! The way. Sorry, I just realized that we have this patient who needs. Yeah, you just did that. Okay, blue and green. Oh, uh, I'm I'm I'm. I'm gonna do the green. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the diagnosis MRI. that needs to be done here. Okay. So she needs and she needs two orange. Let's, let's feed her. Uh, do we do we admit, admit more outpatient? Whatever you gotta do. Let's do two more. Uh, we need more green, by the way. Oh man, I think I messed up by, by bringing in a, another. That's okay. Just patient. do whatever you got to do. It's the the point value didn't seem worth it now, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna refill with blue pills. Okay. Uh, can you treat these outpatient? Just uh, what they need? Yeah. Can I do? Am I? Yeah, I'm allowed to do that. Yeah. Oops. Uh, right. Where's my doctor? There we go. See what see what they need. Oh, orange and green. Okay. okay. So. So this syringe patient needs. I. We need some orange green. stocked. What's the green? Oh, I did green, green is the MRI. So blue is diagnostic imaging. 
and I'll put that there. Okay, orange. And orange this is hospital bed B2. Oh gosh, okay, so not that one. Or that one. Jeez. Come on! Too white. B2. And oh, we don't have any syringes. Come on. Uh, money. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Okay, never mind. I got okay, it. I got this. So I have the two diagnostics. So that one's running, so uh, they, can, three, they can do that. This is the one that they need. So, so we need all these things for that patient. Oh my gosh, we have 11 seconds. No. Oh, oh we're not going to make it. We're not in seven seconds. Panic time. Did we? We're, we're not going to make it. I'm gonna refill my organ. Yeah, you might as well. Least. Might as well. Too long. Yeah, I'll use blood. Oh. Okay, so I can I can still run that. You can you can continue until your stand timer stops. So I might as well stock us with some blood because might as well. <sighs> That's what we should be doing at the end of a round when we have like ten seconds left. We're like, yeah, hey, we can't restock. do anything. It just restock. All right, I messed up by bringing in that third inpatient. Yeah, I think right it's now. it's too much in diagnostics. It's you don't know. Yeah. I think, I think if we can ha if we can clear off before like two minutes and fifteen seconds. Then maybe bring in one. I think the full load of outpatient was right to go, and then two hospitalized patients. Unless then, you want to do all three in the beginning and get them all running right away. Just because your doctor is then caught yeah. in between. If we had a third player, then you'd have a third doctor who could maybe do that. But that changes also the scores that you need. But let's well, just score this. We're about to lose some points. Are oh we? no, we didn't. You didn't treat this one. Uh, yeah. <gasps> yes. Oh no. I had my own problems. By remember, I was ward A, and then I somehow became ward B. Well, are you ready to score? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's start over here okay. because uh, it's easier. Sure. So this person over here, Fail. we did not treat uh, them at all. No. So this is definitely a medical error. <laughs> because they were in serious condition, we lose three medical points and they now go to critical. If we critical. do not treat this patient next round, then they, they we lose them, yeah. unfortunately. And we they lose go to the another game. hospital. So minus three. <laughs> Uh, medical points. We're sure. at six. And now they have this little C on them, right? Yes, and they are going to stay. The oh, what happened there? Yeah, so it was too hard. <laughs> yeah. Somebody somebody tried to we, treat we them. Yeah, I, I tried to treat them, but we had orange there. I didn't. I couldn't get my doctor back or nurse back in time, and then I, I totally forgot. All right. <laughs> you know what happened? Trouble. This this I, I dropped this off kind of like this, and from my perspective, I just couldn't even see that. All right. So this patient also she um, goes to, now, goes severe. to severe, Mild, serious. severe, serious, and so we lose one point for her. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> let's let's try to gain some points here. Sure. This patient required one IV bag, an orange, and a white pill, I'll and take, so I'll take those two. successfully, we treated that one successfully. It's one point. Okay. This patient just needed three units of blood, wow. and it looks like we had it right here, which is good. One but it's point. also just one point. Um, this patient needed two blue pills, uh, three units of the green IV medication, and three, and three of, the of the yellow. And we really so needed to treat them because they were critical. They were critical. That would be minus eight medical that would points. Have been the game. If, uh, yeah, that would have been game. So that's yeah. three, three repetition. One, two, three. Yeah, would okay. you like to put these? Sure. Uh, we have our hospitalized patients. This one over here needed two different uh, methods of diagnostics. They needed the MRI as well as the x ray. And two of them they got. Yeah. Uh, the higher one is this one, which is the one that we needed to actually treat them with. And unfortunately, we didn't get them into surgery. No. So they are going to go down to critical. But now we know everything we need. We can just help them. Yeah. <laughs> in so the that's, OR. that's going to be minus three, minus three points. So we're at one, two, three. Okay. We're at two. If we have any more medical, medical errors, it's pretty much over, right? Yeah. So we, okay. can't, we can't have any medical errors. So we have to be a little bit cautious here. Yeah. Uh, this patient in B1 needed... Two different diagnostics as well. They needed the the uh, blood labs as well as the MRI, and they got both. Yep. And no epidemics, by the way. Nope. Okay. So we only needed to treat using the topmost card, which is this one, and that's two orange pills, two white pills, and uh, two, two green. green medication. Yes. There was nothing additional on the on the person's bed that's at right. all. So it's going to be two points from the card as well as two points from their her. their her. Yeah. So there's that. For her happiness. Yeah, so it's four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So these can go off. And then finally, our patient in A1. Yes. Let's see what they needed. Wow. That was kind of a sad round. So <laughs> this gentleman just needed surgery. Yeah. And he needed one white pill, a lung, and two units of blood, which we have here. So perfect. Good job there, Naveen. Oh, thank you. Uh, here you go. And so that's going to be three points. One, two, three. What All right. At? at the end of the second round, we're halfway through the game. We are at 28 reputation and two medical points. 
So okay, so we're gonna need to recover from this. If we just don't lose, if we don't make any more medical errors for the rest of the game, then we won't lose immediately. But we still need to hit Get our points. goal. Sixty-five points. On sixty-five, halfway through, we should be at like 30, 32, 33. 32, 30, Yeah. Now we have. I mean, this guy right here who's in critical is gonna be five points right away. Uh, okay. Because we have the lungs, we have the blue, we have everything that person needs. Mm -hmm. So do you want to just um. Hmm. Well, okay, so we also need to treat these two patients. So we make do. sure we do that. In so, the beginning, I am still going to room two people here. Or like... The two and one. Yeah, we're, we're still going to do the same, the two and one, and then just focus on treating them. So if you want to look at what they need now to start restocking them at the start. All right. Oh, okay, boy. round three. Yes. Are we ready? I'm Four ready. minutes on the clock. Wait, let's put that down. Yeah. Ready, set, go. Okay. Okay. So he's coming so, in. One, two. Um, going to so admit... Oh my gosh. Let's do that um, there. And then I'm going to, let's treat this patient once and for all. Is going to get. And then I'm going to restock. Blue pill one. White pills. Blue pill two. I and need to restock blood. blue pills. Blue pills, IV bags. Okay, I need a nurse. How many blood does he need to? I need a nurse. All the sand timers are going. Your doctor is now done. Okay. If you want to yeah. do any um, diagnostics. diagnostics, yeah. Should I admit that other patient, actually? Blue pills, yeah, you can do that. Okay. There's a blue pill. Oh, your doctor's doing nothing. Thank you. Then I'm going to get started with this patient. This okay, patient so needs double of that. Double red? Oh, boy. So okay, so you just got to find those. One. And you can do them both at the same time, right? I don't think so. Okay, okay. I'm going to stock um, orange. Is that it? Oh, my gosh. That is not it. No. Yeah. So. Oh, Come man. What else on. Do we need? Okay, oh, there. Syringes. Okay, I found it. There, that's it. Good. And we flip that. So what once that's done, then I'm gonna do it again. What other medications do we need? Um, this blue we need. Okay, so I'll treat. Okay, treat treat that patient. Oh, sorry. Go. Oh, we need IV. Yeah, IV bags. Ahead. Okay, there's one for you. I'm gonna refill the IV bags right now. So. Perfect. One, if you're gonna two. refill the IV bag, I'll take one of them. There. Because I'm still treating that patient. Uh, we so also they are need taken blue care pills. of. They're taken care of. For this patient. Okay. So I'm gonna refill with the blue. Okay. Then I'm gonna take care of this patient here. For the two okay, blue. Perfect. And then, oh, I need to flip over my oh doctor. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to do the next one. Two blue, two orange. Next micro. Oh, oh hey, I dropped I got lucky. I pulled it on the first Any one. Any bag. Okay, okay so now treated. we've got these okay, two. This so is what, a higher... what am I doing, doctor? Oh, I need surgery. Doctor, what are you doing? If you have a chance to bring this patient to surgery, that would okay, be great. I have to do this x ray stuff for now. Two orange and one so white. You're A1. So let's refill the orange pills. We have two minutes left. Orange, oh my god, I need to find one that does not have A1. That patient. So two orange pills and one white. They all have A1. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And there then we they need to go into surgery. So can you bring that patient? Or... Hold on, no, I, I'm uh, still doing diagnostics right okay. now. I'm gonna oh, we need a refill. bone. We need bone. Oh, I need to give kidneys. Do whatever you gotta do. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a kidney one. Oh man, I gotta oh my move gosh. this guy. Kidney two. Okay, I'm gonna move him to this one now. Okay. Uh, who... Needs what? I'm just not going to bring in any more outpatient. What do you think? Uh, sure. Let's... Oh, I need white pills. Okay. Sorry. I have okay, so this is the... Patient. Actually, I don't need the bones anymore because this is the priority now. Okay. Um, two kidneys. We need green IV medication. Okay, orange pills. We need I'm, orange pills. I'm setting up for this patient needing surgery, which I think they can do now. Do you so. need green still? Do you I'm still need your green surgery. medication? Green green medication? Yeah, no, I, I refilled. Okay. We need... Uh, how um, many... Four kidneys. Oh, two. Two kidneys. So one. I'm going to take the blood. Two. I'm taking all the blood. They need. We have two no more blood, though. Just white pills. So, oh, wait, wait. That nurse wasn't done. Okay, not done. So two white pills. We have 52 seconds. Okay. Uh, so one. I'm, can I take those green? Two. You're taking... I need the green. Okay, so re refill. Two white pills and. You're going to need syringes. Okay. Shoot. Here. Oh. One. Oh, no. 36 seconds. Get in there. I'm trying. Oh no, I'm talking to the green medication. Oh. <laughs> two. I think this patient's done. Is yeah. everybody fed? Two kidneys, two Is everyone fed their meds? Oh my gosh. Is that? I did that one. Okay, let me just check. So this Let's restock. Good. I'm gonna restock blood. Yeah, go for it. But this patient only needed one blue. Only one blue. Yeah, I'm gonna just bring it oh, up yeah, you here can just, yeah, you to remove the blue. Yeah, good. I don't know if you actually put it back there or maybe you put it in the supply. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Two. No, only one IV bag. <sighs> Two. Okay, so oh this can finish out. This can finish out. What happened? We might. Have we lost? 
Oh, why is there two med uh, orange on this? Did I do that? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Hey, sometimes you lose games, but let's uh, figure out how we lost. We're going to lose. <laughs> I'm sad about it. <laughs> Nabi, what happened? Maybe it was you. You overloaded this patient too. I had to return some of the medication. If you over treat, which is also bad in medicine, then you lose two medical... They, you still discharge the patient, but you lose two medical points, and we only have a threshold of two more. Well, let's find out where we lost. Let's let's Since we know these are bad cases let's go with the good cases let's start with the hospital start with the, the good news. inpatient ones then sure okay. gosh terrible oh my gosh i tried okay I so we did way better when you practice this game this is this is hard okay so hard. start with this one yeah so patient in a1 require um, two diagnostics yeah so we have they require two diagnostics they were both the run blue which is an x-ray and red which is the my, microbial cultures that's right so which one was higher numbered three, three. no it's the bottom number four Okay, you got lucky there. Typically, the values are gonna are gonna coincide. <laughs> the, the more complicated is yes. yes. Okay, there was no additional treatment needed on the bed itself. So this one, it's two orange pills. We need three, three units of blood and three of the green IV drugs. Success. That's good. So that's successful. And this is gonna be how many points is that? Uh, looks like three, three plus, plus two. Yeah. So five points. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Okay. Okay. Got him treated. Next one, we have B one over here. B1 needed a lot. Got of too stuff. much. So they needed two rounds of the culture diagnostics. And so we have two of them right Wait, here. Why is there three white pills in there? Because of the surgery. Oh, okay. Okay. I was so confused. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's the question Ooh. we're going to lose anyway. Yeah. So I don't know if we did this part wrong, but one of the cards did pull a, an epidemic. But because it wasn't the card that we were treating with, we yeah. didn't pull an epidemic card. A part of me now thinks that. Even if you're not treating that card, it's still considered an epidemic. I have no idea. Let's just pull the top epidemic card and see. Because sometimes you get lucky. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. The top card would have been nothing. Clear. Some of them are just like uh, nothing. Like you you're lucky. You're in the clear. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway. Exactly that. Um, this patient well, needed so a baseline much. of two orange pills and one white pill. That's okay. just what they needed um, outright. On the card. So there's two orange and there's one white. And then we needed to bring them into surgery, which I did myself, and I sure. used my tweezers. And they needed two kidneys, they needed two white, and two uh, green, two green you did medications. It. So we did it. That's six points. So that is six points, exactly. So you want to go ahead and empty that? Sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then our final admitted patient over here, uh, patient in B2, was one that we had carried over from last round. They needed the two diagnostics, the MRI and the X-ray. I think we did these last round too. So that yeah, was... those. Yeah, he was the one that was still from previous rounds. Okay, so then they just needed uh, in surgery two units of blood, which we have, two lungs, and two blue pills. That's so right. That was so a I didn't success. Mess that one up. Okay, good. <laughs> so that's five points. <laughs> That oh was the one gosh. that would have been the worst to mess up. Do not trust Naveen in a hospital. Wow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so that's how many points is that? Sorry. Uh, that two, was two on it. That's three, five. Five, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. So those are these. And then we have the blenders. Sure. So our outpatients, what happened here? So this, this, um, this little lady needed one orange pill and one green one green she got it. Meds. She, she got, got it. what she so needed just one point one point for her there's that so we're at 45 and then this one i had to clean up at the end there i don't know who put the medications on there initially but there were too many maybe me I so that they needed one iv bag two white pills and one blue oh so two points for this gentleman okay one two and finally the one the error. The game losing patient. <laughs> the overtreated. <laughs> the overtreated. This patient over here needed one IV bag, which we have. Mm. Two blue, which we have. And one orange. And only one orange. Somebody treated with an additional orange pill. Was that me or you? And so, I don't know. We're going to have to roll back the tape. Yeah. But I feel like I don't remember doing that. Could have been me. <laughs> Sometimes you look down real quick and you see the two and you're going to go get your stuff and you're like, oh, they need two of everything. Can't make medical errors when it comes to healthcare. Yeah. <laughs> so unfortunately, even though we overtreated, it's still minus two medical points, bringing our score to zero. And 
So ha is. had we been successful, that would have been what? Two, two points, points more. So, so we would have been 49. 49. So we, in the final round, we would have needed, we would have needed 16, 16 points. Oh, which is exactly kind of what we were going yeah. for. We could have, we could have still, we could have, we still could have had a chance there. That's but that. um, unfortunately, we lose. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got through three rounds. We did, yeah. And we were pacing, you know, the, the pace was there. Yeah. So. <sighs> I swear, when we That's practiced, hard. we were much better. That was why we decided to go for a hard. Uh, we, 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 we didn't, yeah, we hadn't played it in a little bit. On that card, what is medium? 45 points? So yeah. we would have got it by, by round three. So normal, you start the game with 16 medical points. Right. So we would have had a lot more wiggle room to, to fail there mm -hmm. for errors. And we would have only needed to reach 45 points. So had we chosen normal, we, we definitely would have would have won. No, we could have absolutely made errors, especially in the OR when you have to use tweezers and other yeah. things. So we could have lost points earlier. So, you know, it's hard to say, but... Uh, it's hard to say? Hard to say. <laughs> so anyway, that is Rush MD. Uh, we did not finish the final round. So there's typically four rounds, but uh, also we, we played it on hard. So if you were to play this at home, especially with higher player counts, you get to choose the level of difficulty and the objective cards are different depending on player count. So that was a two player rating right. us on points. There are also cards that just require you to, to uh, treat a certain number of patients. We decided to go with that card because we wanted to actually have the points matter point pressure, right? yeah. for, the, for the actual uh, filming of this. Mm -hmm. so, Let's talk about it. Yeah, sure. Uh, so we, we are sitting in a kind of closed, compressed uh, space. So yes. typically you'd be maybe around your dining table, something like that, where there's a, just a little bit more just kind of elbow room. Yeah. So that kind of makes it a little tough, especially with the organs there. I'm like, okay, I can't really get to the organs to stock them. Right. So. Yeah, that is, that is a great disclaimer. Um, mm -hmm. When you play this game, the, the couple of times that we played this, or the few times that we played this when it was not on filming the boards were arranged differently yeah so when you set the game up you can choose the arrangement of these boards they're they're modular i However guess you, you could want. say yep. and uh, in the actual rule book it's all like a tall ways where you it's just kind of line them up you don't put them side by side mm -hmm. and so that way people have access from to left, different parts to, from left to right you can come in right. easier this way and you can do it in like a sideways fashion too you don't have to to be looking at it straight on there's literally no official setup i think yeah in you terms decide of how the boards go the way that you want to do it but because yeah. it we have to we had to film it side by side unfortunately i was the only one with access to the organs yeah, which it, also it, slows us down and it made sense because the far, the way we set the board the pharmacy had the organs there yeah. so so it was really set up for me to be doing a lot of the restocking in the pharmacy i also really should have been doing the outpatient um treating them because i'm right next to them and i have access to the medication see what they need at a glance mm -hmm. and naveen is more of the diagnostics diagnostics and or yeah but because we only have one doctor each yes. and the diagnostics all require the doctors yeah i think two of our cards the, two of our cards at the end require double diagnostics that's so when it gets like, tough it's like uh this doctor can only do one i have to wait for the sand timer then i move them over the sand timer mm -hmm. oh i have another patient that needs the exact same right thing. so it, it did require me to do some diagnostics and reaching over which slowed this part down and required naveen to start treating some outpatients yeah, so yeah that's when things uh, started going downhill i think so yeah but uh we played this way because of necessity not that it was ideal at all <laughs> so if you were to play this at home you get to decide where everything goes yeah. and so backtracking a little bit the very first time we heard about this game uh, because this is not random the first time mm. we heard about it was when we went to essen spiel like in 2019 the last time we went was yeah. that 2019 2019, 2019? Yeah, right before and COVID. uh this game had just come out it was uh, it was very much so a play off of Kitchen Rush, if mm -hmm. you've ever played that game. I think similar, the same designers, maybe. Don't know. No, I don't remember. No. But I had played Kitchen Rush before, and that game is extremely hard. It's, it's the same concept, except you're in a kitchen, you're cooking, you're making food. But it is really hard, because I don't even remember what makes that game much harder than this. But I remember thinking that that was a little bit unreasonable. Oh. And so they were demoing this version, and this one really called out to me because of the theme. You know, we're, we both work in healthcare. And so we went to Esther Spiel with two of our, our closest friends. We sat down to demo it, but I had to meet somebody. Mm -hmm. So we learned the game. Uh, we kind of just went over everything. And then right before we, we went to play it, I had to leave. She had to leave. So I left, did my thing while the three of them played. And when I came back, I was like, how is it? And they all three of them were like, oh, it's great. Yeah. They're raving about it. And yeah. I just like had this missed FOMO opportunity there. Yeah, we had a really good time with it. Uh, yeah. The rules are pretty straightforward. Uh, other than the tweezers, sometimes that can get a little bit uh, messy. So maybe mm -hmm. at the time we're making mistakes. But this is one of those games where like, so what if you make a couple mistakes? Yeah. 
uh, if you if you put the pressure on yourself, kind of like what we did, yeah. you're still having an enjoyable time. Right. Um, so yeah, we really really enjoyed it. We played a, a full uh, full round. I think we I think we won, but we played on easy. Yeah. Uh, oh, when in at Essen. At Essen, yeah. Okay. And so, but I still really really enjoyed it, and we really felt the pressure of these sand timers and kind of yeah. managing it's like all the different Yeah, your first experience with it. Yeah. And so since then, it it hadn't really come to North America or like we didn't really see it around much. And I, I'm pretty sure COVID kind of slowed things down. I don't probably. know for a fact, but. And so Naveen was talk. he would talk about it like every now and then, like when is Rush MD coming? I know. Because he really, really wanted to play it. I, had, I hadn't really played it, but you really wanted it. Yeah, because so. they, they ran a Kickstarter for an expansion without the base game being widely available here in the US. And so I was just kind of like, when can we get the actual game? Like, when's it coming in? So, yeah, uh, yeah. so I, this is one that I had my eye on for a very, very, very long time, ever since yeah. that one experience in Essen. Right, so we figured, you know, we, have, we haven't done a playthrough in quite some time. We have a couple of heavier playthroughs coming up that we're preparing for. And so we kind of wanted to just put this one out as a, to ease our way back into it. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. it's fun. <laughs> You it know, fun, yeah. all that to say, I really, really enjoy this game. We both enjoy real-time games. So, you know, this is not any different than a standard real-time game. You still feel the pressure and the chaos of mm -hmm. the timer. Um, and the theme is integrated extremely well the, in this the game. The theme yeah. is, yeah, this is this is one of the more thematic games that I've played mm -hmm. in the past couple of years. To be playing as if you're in a hospital setting, yeah. you know, it, it's, it really is... It's just done really well. It is. It's done Down very, to the very diagnostics, well. everything is funny. You know, it's it's thematically integrated. It's not medically accurate, obviously, because it's it's a game. The green medicine, yellow but medicine. Yeah. Everything that they did in order to to kind of port that into medical speak is is very well done. I, I think the one of my favorites is actually the X-ray. Oh, you like that? Yeah, because so there's there's it's very faint, but. On x-rays in real life, you do have to look very closely because yeah. sometimes you can see just a little, little something, something on the corner. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of what, they, what they're what they getting at. It's like, okay, A1, A2, A3. Yeah. Dang it, A1, A2, A3. And then right. you're just kind of doing the same thing over and over. Uh, the, when the cards get all shuffled, they're not all in the same kind of orientation. So right. you got to kind of reorganize your eyes. Yeah. Uh, the so blood labs. The is, blood labs are pretty good. It's kind of like the, the, the lab... Um, short term that they use mm -hmm. written in the hospital yeah. which is funny yeah the even down to the microbes they have them all in these little chits the mris they typically take a 30 oh, to 45 minute test so time. you're just kind of sitting there waiting for the diagnostic to just do its thing yeah yeah but cool. it's really fun yeah. this is a really fun game and we played it at several player counts i recently played this at a four player game with uh, a couple of my friends who are nurses actually they're in mm -hmm. they're inpatient uh, they're acute care nurse practitioners up in san francisco and just playing this game with them was really, really fun. Listening to the way that they were asking for things. Because they know, work together they on a work, daily basis. They, yeah, yeah, they also work together. Yeah. And just like hearing them, it, it really sounded like they're in a hospital. Yeah. So that that was a really fun moment. And then the fourth player was, was not even in healthcare. So just like the dynamic around the table, super fun. And the game is really quick. You know, mm -hmm. each round only lasts four minutes. You deliberate, but deliberation is just a short amount of time. Minute, Everybody maybe, yeah. is equally invested. And so four minutes times four, that's a 16-minute game, mm -hmm. typically. The setup is quite involved. You know, setting up the, the game, there are a ton of pieces. And you, they just, for a short game, there's a lot of setup. Yep. So that is the, the one thing, the one one kind of caveat. And so anyway, final thoughts? Yeah, it's it's, it's very thematic. It's one of my favorite uh, real-time games. So I'm glad we were able to, to finally get it and showcase it. Um, and I can't wait to play it again. I want I, I want a rematch on this. Yeah, I feel rematch. like I'm the one that caused us to lose. So. <laughs> Let us know who was it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was me. And I totally agree. This is one of my uh, this is one of my favorite now uh, mm -hmm. real time cooperative games. So if you enjoy that kind of genre, uh, highly recommend you check it out. Anyway, that's Rush MD. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.